Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a very basic wandering AI character. First we're going to download this free asset from the asset store. We'll use this for our tutorial today. So go ahead and import that into your project. Go to the package folder you just imported. We're going to find the prefab of our character. So it's one of these four. So go ahead and drag that into your scene. Go inside the character object. Inside the animator. We're going to go inside the controller. So it should come up with a bunch of animations. We're going to hold shift and we're going to delete everything. We're going to start fresh. In order to move inside the animator controller, hold alt and drag with your mouse. So once you delete everything, we're going to recreate our default state. I'm going to call this idle. Now make sure you name this accordingly because this is what it's called inside a script. So I called it idle with a lowercase i. We're going to create another state. I'm going to call it walk with two a's. So inside our package folder, it should have came with some animations. We're going to find our idle animation and we're going to drag that into our motion. We're going to do the same for our walk state. So find the walk animation drag that into our motion. Now we want to make sure these animations are looping. So click on the animation, scroll down, make sure loop time and loop pose is checked and apply. Do the same for walk. So that way the animation never stops. So now we're going to go back to our character we're going to add a nav mesh agent. Now once you add that, go to your navigation tab and make sure you bake your navigation. So now we're ready for our script. So right click create C sharp script. I already got the script made so I'm going to go over with you guys. I called it Wander AI. So make sure your public class name matches your script file name. In my case I called it Wander AI. So here we're going to set some public floats. You'll be able to type in your own options inside the inspector, hence the word public. How fast the character is moving, how fast it's rotating. Here we're going to set some private bools. If it's wandering, if it's rotating left, right, and if it's walking. Every frame update. If the character is not wandering, we're going to start a core routine called wander. If it's rotating right, we're going to play our idle animation, the animation we made in our animator component called idle with the lowercase i. If it's rotating left it's going to play our idle animation again. So if you already have character turning animations, turning left or right, you would put it in its rightful spot. It would look much better. But since most packages don't come with turning animations and usually idle animations, we're just going to go with the idle animation. So if the character is walking, it's going to play a walk animation. It's going to move our character forward. Here we're going to call our numerator wander. We're going to set some random ranges. Here you can put in your own numbers if you want. How long it's rotating. How long it's going to wait to rotate. How long it's rotating left or right. How long it's going to wait to walk. How long it's going to walk for. So the character is just going to be walking around randomly. And that's our goal here. So if it's rotating left or right, if the range equals 1, it's going to rotate right. If it's rotating left or right equals 2, it's going to rotate left. So the character is going to randomly be rotating when it's stopped. So there you have it with the script. I'm going to provide it in the comments down below. So give me a like. Give me a subscribe. It would be really much appreciated. So now go ahead and drag that script inside a character. Which I already did. So here you could adjust your public floats. I'm just going to leave it at default 3 and 100. So now we should be good to go. I'm going to go test. So the character stopped. It's playing its idle animation. It just moved forward. Played its walk animation. It's turning around randomly. It's moving forward and playing its walk animation. So you can do this with about any model. I got a bunny right here with the same technique. Just that one script. As you can see, it's doing the same thing.